The dedication, compassion, and even artistry that I have witnessed since my husband, Yogi Raj Charles Bates, died from a venous thromboembolism, a hospital-associated venous thromboembolism in 2012, has just been almost a bigger shock to me than anything else. Every single day, people who have experienced medical harm, whether they've been a recipient of that harm, have lost a loved one because of that harm, or have been in the pathway of helping deliver care and experienced harm in that delivery, is a shock that no one, no one wants to have. And so people get up every single day to be um, attentive to ensuring that if you have never experienced a preventable medical event, you never have to. Much like Ty and Carol Moss, who lost their son Niall to a preventable medical error, they have put so much compassion into the music that you are about to hear in the next segment. This is the memorial and survivor segment. And I would just invite you to take a moment, if you happen to be multitasking or doing something else while you're listening to this, to watch this next segment. When we come back, I'll have the opportunity to speak with Regina Holiday, who has brought her artistry forward to support making this more visible and transparent so that we can all enjoy safe care together.
as I mentioned, Regina Holiday has committed her life's work and her artistry to helping everyone understand how meaningful it can be to talk about medical errors before, during, or after an event. I first learned about Regina a few years ago when I was working with my dear friend, Marty Hatley. He was wearing one of her jackets. Yes, I said that exactly right. Regina actually takes and helps people put the stories right on our backs, right out in public so that we can begin to have really meaningful conversations about, about this very important topic. Regina, thank you so much for being here today. And I would love for you to just tell us a little bit about what inspired you to begin to bring these stories to our backs. Sure, it's a blessing. I am, I'm glad that we created the Walking Gallery. Uh, the Walking Gallery of Healthcare has now been around for 10 years. This is our 10th anniversary of the movement. We have over 600 people wearing jackets around the world telling their healthcare stories. And some of them are medical error stories. And it helps the families um, who have lost loved ones or folks have survived but continue to suffer explain things and share their story and help advocate to positive policy change. I actually have a few jackets with me right now. Um, Good, we'd share. love to see them. Sure, so, so this is one of the jackets. It's sort of dark, so it's sort of hard to see, but this one's called Spare Parts. And it's about um, Jolene Chambers' advocacy. Uh, unfortunately, some individuals who have had uh, limb injuries and they have to have plates and new joints placed in their bodies. Some of them have had wonderful experiences and some of them have had harm. And a lot of those individuals have often felt like the ranks of healthcare have closed on them and no one wants to talk to them about what's happened to them. So this jacket was about that quandary. My eldest son, he had this jacket, which is a picture of a skull on top of a parking lot kiosk at the hospital. And he asked me to paint that with coins in the eyes and the mouth falling down to the ground because he didn't think you should make a family pay to park when they're watching their loved one die. And that's been a powerful jacket and it's actually helped change policy in our country where hospital CEOs have come to me and said, hey, we saw your son's story. We think it's wrong. We can change that. And they did. You know what, Regina, that reminds me that after my husband died in 2012, I remember after having to walk his body to the morgue, having to try to find my car in the parking lot. It was this moment of just utter disarray. In fact, I left my purse behind. It was so um, shocking. I was in such shock. So I think your son is really on to something with that. Thank you so much for taking time to be with us today. We really appreciate it. And I just, I know for a fact that your work will continue to raise awareness about this and how important it is for us to just be completely engaged in our medical um, care on behalf of ourselves and on behalf of our patients. There's another gallery that has just emerged for this Unite for Safe Care and the link will be here in the in the video, I invite everyone to go and take a look at that where there are a number of artists who have brought forward uh, the compassion for both art and um, the compassion for medical errors into one place. So go take a look at that as well.